Hello and welcome to the uh, meeting uh, at uh, the 14th of March 23. We are uh, with Bruno uh, Verhagen and uh, Mark Waite. Um, for the announcement, uh, we have the weekly, which is uh, built and uh, currently in progress for the container image publication. As a other announcement, uh, I don't think we have any. The upcoming calendar, we have the next weekly uh, next week. The next LTS, um, I don't know when is the next LTS, do you know, Mark? Double check. Let me double check, but I think it's April 5. Yes, April 5. No security advisory announced uh, for now. And the next major event uh, will be, I think, the uh, Silicon and DevOps France in April. Oh, oh, right, right. DevOps France, right. Do you have another uh, 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 upcoming calendar event to announce? Okay. None for me. Google Summer of Code is ongoing, but its dates and timelines we know. Okay. So going to the to the issue, I'll start with the done issue. I'll go to the milestone to follow them on GitHub. We have uh, the first one uh, is um, the Jenkins CI transfer organization ver verification. So uh, we've got its nice badge uh, to show it's an official organization for the repository transfer between uh, developers and uh, the official Jenkins CI organization. We have a login issue with uh, a user with uh, plus something in their mail uh, who did who could not uh, log into uh, Jira. He, they change their email and uh, remove the plus something and it works fine. So nothing to add there. Uh, the job copy builder uh, was an issue from last week. Uh, it was an issue about the update center failing. Uh, I've closed the issue since uh, the dependency was uh, correctly published after that. Uh, Stefan uh, made uh, a, uh, an update manifest to upgrade uh, automatically the quota uh, of uh, agent we are using on uh, the CI ATS cluster and the digital ASM cluster. So when we upgrade uh, the value in uh, as code in Terraform, it automatically uh, updates uh the available uh, quota for the agent in our uh, ci configuration so does is that why so i've seen for instance right now there are bill of materials evaluations and running on ci.jenkins.io and there are 400 agents allocated and that's significantly more than before is that because of that change uh in part uh, what okay. is the main reason we could have so we have we have now uh, as much as uh, as much um, uh, we have the same number of agents on digital ocean than on AWS because we upgraded the uh, world droplet limit in the digital ocean account. We went from twenty five to one hundred 
so we can now request uh, a lot more agent so now each of these cluster can uh, can uh, have uh, uh, 150 agent each so 300 total and you can see that we can have uh, far more we have uh, far better capacity in ci to jenkins that i now uh i have i don't know if you saw that but uh, i have i added this link so everyone can consult the current workload on ci oh good thank you it's a link normally available in the manage jenkins uh section mm -hmm. but as it doesn't require uh, uh an authentication for being uh, so for uh, for looking at it so i've put it in the public section so everyone can check that and see why uh, their build is not running <laughs> And this is a boom build. Um, so next one is uh, Stefan uh, replaced uh, GitHub action with a dedicated Jenkins file for running update key on Jenkins on the Puppet repository. So the next one is uh, a request from uh, not my fault to install uh, renovate on uh, core tightly through port generator. Another for adding Basil as admin to the Jenkins CI transfer as he is uh, responsible for uh, many transfer uh, recently. Uh, the next one is uh, a request from that my folder to remove the module folder from ci.jenkins.io and uh, so I'm going to remove it since uh, every repository in this uh, folder were archived since last summer. Right, so right, okay. No need for that. Um, I was wondering if there is a way to no on Jenkins side if a repository is archived but yeah right. should be good to do some cleanup to remove uh, some jobs maybe um transfer bootstrap multi-test result reports plugin to Jenkins CI uh it's another uh, plugin Move, uh, which move to the Jenkins CI organization. I don't know if the bit monitor was last week or I don't remember. Yeah. Um, so, so that was the done issue, uh, not in this milestone because I haven't closed it yet, but uh, uh, plugins, the uh, plugin site wasn't updated. Uh, there was an issue with plug expert uh, uh, not working on the pipeline uh, because uh, yesterday I uh, validated um, a renovate pull request updating the image we are using to build plugin site and uh, this version uh, was using python 3 dash dev to install the az uh, cli and this uh, dependency broke uh, as well so i switched to the debian package to install uh, the um, azure uh, cli commands and uh, run a test, uh, run a build manually on, on the uh, master branch of the plugin site with this new image and it worked uh, successfully. You confirmed that, Mark, uh, with the yes. running ng last version published on the um, plugin. 
Uh, next, we have the. Uh, do you have any questions about uh, this issue? None from me. Uh, work in progress. Uh, just a little notice. Uh, uh, some are uh, waiting for uh, Damien and Stefan to come back. They are out of office for until Thursday, so most of them are waiting for their return. Um, this issue should be. I have to check with Damien if we had a separate GitHub action to to manage the release of this repository, or if we continue to use one, uh, also really uh, taking care of the Jenkins IO component uh, release. Sunset the Robo Butler service. Uh, it was the IRC bot uh, used for the meeting when they occurred in uh, IRC in, uh, uh, a long time ago, and it's not used anymore. So we have some cleanup to do in the Puppet repository and archiving the repository, so GitHub repository extra. Realign uh, repo the Jenkins CI that org uh, mission. You want to um, say a word about it, uh, Mark? Sorry, what was the which one was it again? It was uh, sorry, uh, the Realign uh, repo that oh, uh, Jenkins oh yes, had. yes, so uh, thanks. So, so the the progress there is that we are continuing to try to locate the owner of a Chinese IP address that's making heavy use of our bandwidth and it's unnecessary heavy use. Uh, we've also been, well, Artifact Caching Proxy is doing great. We are behind schedule on deploying authentication and we need to do some additional log file analysis to really confirm that authentication will actually help. Uh, Basil Crow noted to me that there are some hints that in the logs that adding authentication may actually not, not really help. And the goal is reduce the data transfer, not implement authentication, authenticated access. So we've got to do more research. Okay. Uh, so next one is about artifact caching proxy. Uh, I've got some as a repository with uh, artifact caching proxy working on it. Uh, so next one will be the Javadoc uh, generation. And uh, yeah. uh, I've also added a uh, uh, request to monitor uh, the past on volume on every cluster we have. So we won't uh, have the issue of uh, one of the Proxy full and uh, refusing uh, requests. Um, nothing to add about that. Uh, so, add a private KHS cluster. Last week, I made the migration of uh, the free bots, which were remaining on the broad uh, public KHS. It went well, and the next step, uh, the next and final step is to move uh, release.ci on the new cluster. I've done the preliminary phase. Uh, I have a working instance and a working controller on the new cluster. I've checked uh, backup restoration without any credentials, so no job will run. And I have uh, now to do the Announcement and the concrete migration. And no, no issue expected. It should take uh, one to today at most, hopefully. Uh, for you, the signer certificate for Jenkins. I can I let you 
Um, yeah, yeah. So the there the the submission has been we've submitted the request to Digicert, but Digicert had an additional authentication requirement uh, that requires a legal document from Linux Foundation shows attesting that the Continuous Delivery Foundation is part of Linux Foundation, et cetera, et cetera, and it is allowed to chain off of their uh, authenticated organization. And right now the lawyers are working through that authentication process. We did this process three years ago, um, but my mistake here was I should have started this process much sooner because the lawyers don't always go as fast as we'd like. Thank you. Uh, documents uh, code sign in certificate renewal process. So we have to finish it once. Uh, right. We'll, we've we've captured screenshots and we'll we'll add to that documentation as we complete that task. Uh, Maven seventeen level logging on CI the Jenkins Satayo. Uh, we see additional capacity on CI the Jenkins Satayo, which shouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah, yeah. I've uh, definitely, uh, I've definitely not seen any hangs. Um, but then again, I didn't see it before. Yeah. So I'll wait, uh, Daniel, for Jones to confirm we can close it, but it should be good. Uh, we want. I think we want. Uh, prioritize or not see bomb build against the user as it was suggested uh, before. Right. We can't access for plugin account. Uh, plugin issue, I've uh, pinged the user yesterday. I'm waiting for their uh, response. As a credential for certs, yeah, I don't remember what was what is the status of it. Yeah, uh, I think it's a long term uh, fix we have to implement. Yeah, to medium and long term fix. Well, and uh, and if I understand correctly, on this one, it's this will actually let us avoid using a credential at all, right? It's some other thing that then works inside the context where it knows it's executing in Azure. I, uh, I'm not sure. I want to, uh, I didn't follow uh, that much this issue, so I prefer to let them uh, explain later. Update center job is failing. Uh, I, I think it's almost ready. Um, we have to uh, let me sorry. Sorry, excuse me. Um, let me uh, yeah, I, I would propose we. Oh, go ahead. Um, I, mean, let's go. I was just thinking we let Damien decide when he's ready to close this one because he may have action items hidden in this that I think it would be unwise for us to close it. Let's let him decide when he's ready to close it. Yes. Uh, if it's your agents are not available, I, it's the same. I don't think we made any progress on it. Yeah. I didn't take the time to check on that yet. So we will put it in the next milestone. Out of space on a, on for the bomb build, a uh, lot of uh, bomb build are, are failing because of that. Uh, same as the other, uh, Daniel and Stefan are working on it. I think we will put it in the next milestone too. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, the, just for info, there are now 14 pull requests queued on the Bill of Materials repository. 
and and that's about triple the size of the of the, the merge queue of the pull request queue that we usually have. We we typically have zero zero to two, and in a bad time it gets to five. So so we we've got some backlog to to recover once we get this resolved. Uh, grant limited access to release.ci uh, to separate the impulse. Uh, it has been postponed uh, because we had a uh, heavy week last week with uh, security release the two LTS and zero key. I think it will be done uh, in the next milestone uh, before or after the release CI new version. Hmm. Maven central package not found on build agent. Uh, I have to check with Damien for this one. I don't know how to resolve this issue. Uh, we have uh, this dependency on uh, on the artifactory. Uh, we have uh, the two first one, but not the six. One. So I don't know why, and I don't know where it's published, and also I don't know how to exclude them from the um, artifact caching setting. Uh, so yeah, I have to check that with him. Uh, yeah, the new credential for Packer as code with Terraform. I think uh, Stefan has almost, I've almost finished it. Uh, the credential is successful. I think he will close it. So when you say it comes. Uh, this is uh, an issue about the description of the Jenkins in Boon agents. A little bit confusing as the, uh, it has the same uh, um, notice as the Docker um, slave agent on, uh, on Docker Hub. And it has to be updated. I don't have the access to do that. so. I've yet said to Damien or another or Jenkins CI uh, to get up the uh, admin. Then we have uh, an account uh, request. Uh, I don't know if we, yeah, I have asked, ask, I've asked this user to try again because I don't know. Uh, I don't. See, I didn't see anything in the log, so uh, I ask him to ask, ask this person to try again. Uh, this one is done, and uh, the issue about the SSL certificate for pkg uh, pkg I haven't uh, looked at that yet. Will be for the next milestone. And and Erve on that one, I have to warn. I don't. I truly don't know why I put the monitoring in for that SSL certificate because I don't see it referenced anywhere. But yeah, um, but usually when I put a monitor in, it's because something mattered at some point. Yeah, uh, I have added to to the private Jenkins support team calendar too, so we won't forget. Uh, uh, should we co-assign it? Uh, should we assign you on this also? I I don't think I'm going to have time to because the the signing certificate is is such an urgent thing and other things. Yeah. So I'd leave this one as is. If it were to expire and someone complains to us because we didn't have time to do it, okay, we'll we'll learn. It it won't. We we know how to renew certificates, right? It's it's not a, and I I suspect it's just a configuration change needed on pkg.jenkins.io that it's it somehow lost its knowledge of or, you know, certbot is doing something odd, etc. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, this 
back to this in the atomic note. Uh, why it's empty now? Yeah, okay. So, um, I don't uh, have any particular issue in the backlog to speak about. Um, I propose we see that next week, if it's okay for you. Great. And uh, so, uh, do you have uh, any question about uh, the issue we reviewed? None from me. Uh, the okay. we look forward to to getting Damien and and Stefan back, and I hope to get that bomb disc full thing resolved. That one's on yeah. my mind. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, see you next week. Bye. Thanks.